everyone. All right, everyone. Well, it's time for OK Nia with Strange Horticulture All Discovered. I know she's incredibly passionate about this run. I've seen it before, and I'm so excited to see it again here at Completathon. So take it away, Nia. Awesome. Thank you, Oz. Okay, so let's play some Strange Horticulture. We're going to be doing an All Discovered run. Time will start when I click New Game. So three, two, one, go. Good luck. Thank you. So this first bit is going to be a little bit of uh, story. We're going to learn what we're doing, why we're here, who we are. Uh, we have recently come into possession of a plant shop from our uncle. Um, and at this plant shop, we've been tasked with uh, helping out customers with kind of the different things they need to go through their day. So it's going to be a lot of letting people into our shop um, and then giving them what they need. So first thing we're going to do kind of while this person talks is put this little puzzle on the right side, on the left side, in the right order. That's going to give us that. Um, and Victoria here is requesting a plant, so you'll see a little circle pop up. We'll give her the plant and then send her away. We do have a little bit of time in between all of our customers to actually um, do other things. Otherwise, we're just sitting there waiting. So I called up our next customer while we go to the map there. Um, and there are like a few different ways to collect plants because we're going to be identifying 77 different maps or different plants in this game. And you only start out with, oh, maybe 20. So we have plenty to collect um, throughout our playthrough. It's only going to be 16 days of kind of the any percent portion, um, which is the main story. After that, we have kind of one additional day to identify the remaining like 20, 25 plants. Um, so Faye is actually going to be one of our important characters here. She is uh, kind of a psychic. Um, and so we're going to enhance her visions so that she can, uh, well, so she'll think she can go up against the monster in the town of Undermere, where this is set. And we got a beautiful rainy day today, which is kind of nice. Um, if it looks like I'm looking straight down the camera, it's because my route is right behind it. Um, so don't be too frightened by the intense eye contact going on. All right, every day we also get one of those little cards. It has a little riddle as to where we're supposed to find a plant or something of particular interest. And so every day what we'll do is we'll hit the bell, we'll go to the map and go to that location. That way we can kind of use that time that uh, is spent waiting for people to walk up to actually go do something worthwhile. This one's pretty cool. Each of these plants does something unique, right? Um, this specific plant actually unlocks locks. So we'll use it twice through this playthrough. I just think it's pretty fancy. All of these plants are um, kind of inspired by actual plants too. So uh, there are some of these where now it's gotten to the point where I'll just be walking around my neighborhood and I'll see a plant and I'll be like, oh, that must be where they got inspiration for this plant or this plant. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Um, what you can't see right now is I also, I'm using my mouse for most of um, the playing of this game, pulling plants over from my shelf to the customer. And then um, I also have a controller so that I can kind of click through specific parts of the game a little bit faster. Do do do. And we're just gonna go take a quick detour to J17. It really is a beautiful game. Um, I'm about to like, just on, offload all of this information about this game to you because we only have 35 minutes and there's just so much going on. Um, in this kind of scene in between days when we collect those cards we also get like more story in the game um, of the game more backstory and everything um, and it's telling us kind of about a family um, 
father, daughter, mother trio. Uh, and the mom passes away and the daughter goes and finds solace at the library because that's a common place to find um, support, especially if you're into books. And so the daughter finds this book and we're going to A13 real quick. Um, and this book is actually like more like an occult book um, and it kind of entices her. So she keeps thinking about it pretty much throughout uh, the rest of her few years, I suppose. Um, eventually she runs away because her mom passes away. Her dad turns to drinking um, and she's just not getting the support from him that she needs. She gets the book and summons a monster. And that monster is actually, spoiler, the uh, source of a murder happening throughout the town of Undermere yes. and the surrounding area. I know! Wild. Who would do such a thing? Wild. A sad, sad girl. Unfortunately. Um, but yeah. I hate to so see a girl I... boss winning, you know? <laughs> exactly. She said, screw NLMs, I'm gonna go summon a monster. As one does. As one does. Gosh, we're getting a lot of rain days, which I kind of like, because they're just so much more atmospheric. This whole game, super beautiful. Um, just in all the details that are around here. We don't look at any of the plants really up close, but um, there's a little ma magnifying glass. Uh, no, that's not what it's called. Uh, the thing they use in labs. I don't know, this thing. But you can uh, pull your plant over there to get kind of a closer look at it. And it'll tell you like what it smells like, um, if there's any identifying features. And that kind of helps you uh, figure out what plants you need to give each person. So my first playthrough of this actually took, ooh, I want to say somewhere around three to four hours, maybe six, <laughs> maybe six. I learned a lot about kind of river terminology, just water terminology throughout playing this game. Um, because I don't know if you know what the source of a ri river is versus the mouth of a river. There are apparently different things. And um, I got to discover that for myself over and over and over again. So because y'all were so supportive and fulfilled that dread puzzle incentive, I can tell you a little bit about that. Um, the rising dread meter in my bottom left is kind of like your three strikes you're out meter kind of thing. Um, so what happens there is that um, if I miss identify a plant, give someone the wrong plant or something, it'll fill my dread meter and then I have to eventually complete puzzles to bring my mind back together. And there are two types of dread puzzles in this game, and we'll get to go see those at the end. It'll be a fun time. Um, I don't do them very often anymore because I know what plants I'm supposed to use, but during those first few playthroughs, it was it was quite a time. All right, let's go back to our map here. So L25. A lot of the locations on the map don't really give you anything, um, but. These letters that we've been collecting have clues and locations as to where we could find um, different plants or items. And this woman in the jade mask, she is important. That is actually the girl who summons the monster. And so she comes to us for some simple help, kind of like a test run, if you will, to see if we're worthy of helping her. Um, and of course we are, because we're stellar plant people. 
so she's gonna come back later. There's also a cute little cat uh, who hangs out on our store counter. His name is Hellbore. Can we pet the cat? You can pet him. <laughs> oh, you can. Oh, yay. And he purrs. It's very low purr, mm. but. Ooh. You know who else you it can is pet? There. Who can you pet? You can pet Trico tomorrow for uh, Lil Ass Guardian if you donate just $10 per pet. I highly recommend checking that incentive out, guys. Ooh. Exclamation point donate in chat. That's a steal. It is. Man. Okay, let's see. We are looking for winter boar, so part of this game is also plant management and putting away plants that you've already identified and won't be using later on in the game. Because as you can imagine, 77 plants is quite a lot to have on your uh, shelf at one time. So we're going to attempt plant management. I'm not going to promise that I'm going to be any good at it, but an attempt will be made. So the limit is 76 plants is what I'm hearing. <laughs> that is the limit. <laughs> um, what I really like about this game is that there are several different endings. So um, there are eight different endings, actually. The one we'll be doing is um, Angered the Beast, I believe. And with that ending, what we do is we strengthen the woman in the Jade Mask, but then we also uh, weaken the Psychic. So it'll be interesting to kind of see how that all shakes out. Um, I would love to go through every image of this game with you just because all of the art that's been put into it. Rain Day again, goodness gracious. I like it. It's very soothing. But you know, it's all good. Um, yeah, so we're slowly collecting plants. In some cases we'll get one, in other cases we'll get three at a time. So we really have to be careful about what's going on here. Boop, boop, boop. David, one of our favorite people, brings us a letter. We open the letter. We go to new place on map. Uh, da, 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 that one. I have slowly gotten better at using the coordinates on the map. Um, it is, even though the text is really pretty, super pretty, there is a setting that you can turn on like readable text for, which makes reading these different letters a lot easier. Um, you'll also notice as I identify plants, there's a little tag that pops up on them. That's a cool little auto-labeling feature that we like to use. That way, especially in All Discovered, we know which plants we've identified, so it's a little bit easier to kind of move things out of the way once they've been used. All right. That was a quick little... Oop, there we go. Day seven there. Go ahead and click through. We've made it to day eight. We're already pretty much halfway through. Um, and so far, so good. This person that just walked up, as I mentioned, there are eight different endings. One of them is, well, two of them are related to joining a cult. So if you had joined the, his cult, you could figure out kind of what the cultists want to do with the monster. Um, and we're gonna open up a letter here because we need to go find this plant for the woman in the jade mask. Q30. Cool. So that plant, we don't have any letter clues or card clues for that. Um, it is actually written in, written in invisible ink on the map as to where that's located, which is pretty cool. You use the um, little spyglass thing here to figure out where that is. Um, but we already know where it is, because we've written a whole guide for this. So we don't need to look anymore. Although, maybe I'll put it on. Now that we've activated... Boop! There you go. You can see, there's one there, and then there's also one there. Super cool when you figure out how to actually use this thing. 
Um, there are other, other tools that kind of work like that as well. Day eight, we should be good. On to day nine. Um, on this day, I'll actually pull out the other tool that we have. Oh, there's that one too. That one's pretty sick. <laughs> so many cute little puzzles throughout this whole game. Um, so there's the little scrying tool. There's also boop, that one, the little codex thing, um, where if you have coordinates like box tail candle or whatever, um, you can kind of tell, use that to find other plants in the game, um, which that one was easier to catch on for me. <laughs> other things like this uh, invisible ink one took me a minute, um, but that's okay. Puzzles can be hard. That's what makes them fun. So we identify plants in this game, but we also identify, uh, create potions. So I'm gonna also try to move my potion plants up onto higher shelves so I can see them a little bit better. Um, because we're already getting a little wild. Who's this? Michael? What do you want? What do you want? You want this one. For the most part, every customer that comes through wants the same thing every time, uh, which is nice, but occasionally you'll get, for a handful of the customers, um, it'll be a toss-up between three or four different characters. And so you have to remember which person wants what plant. And we've gotten Dead Man's Fingers, uh, a sussy but important plant. That is what's going to strengthen the woman in the jade Wait, mask. What did, what did you describe so the plan as? Uh, sussy. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that I heard correctly. <laughs> no, you got it. Alright, cool. Just checking. Okay, 11. Yeah, I kind of hated that plant when I first saw it, but unfortunately it's necessary for the rest of our runs. So, we collect it every time. Alright, we're going to open that one, because we need to go to F31. Another important place. Cool. And we're going to drop you up there. She wants this one. Verona, um, if you've noticed, is another recurring character. She is the occult scholar in the town of Undermere. And now we've gotten our potion set. So the next day, um, we will be, we will start brewing our potions, which is exciting. And we're gonna go hop over somewhere real quick. I've gotten better, definitely gotten better at using my map. What sucks is uh, sometimes when you're trying to go real speedy, you'll accidentally misclick on a different, um, on a different coordinate which kind of puts you behind because then that eats up your will to explore and old where'd you go lark shine piss piss come out all right Larkshine is hiding from me. That is the problem with identifying plants and not putting them where they belong. So we need to go find Larkshine and she is going to be... Boo -boo. Should have been at one of the last places we went. It's all good. Um, yesterday I PB'd at like a D12. Uh, 27 minutes, so we'll be fine. There we go. That's why. No. Also, if you stack up your plants, <laughs> they like to overlap on each other, so. Unhelpful all around. All right. Day 11. So this part's kind of fun, because we get to call a customer, 
brew a potion using a mix of three plants, which is going to be Eyebright, Priddle, and Palliance. And then as that's brewing, we're going to pop over here and go to E16. And hopefully, yeah, we do it so fast that we get the potion, we get to the plants, and our customer should be done talking. <laughs> we can kind of ignore them while we do other things. I have done it too fast before where I uh, break the game. I actually did it earlier, so trying not to go too speedy, but you know, fast enough. Mary Holmes, you like to pop up during um, during events. I never get her during my practice runs, um, and she wants a mushroom. This is a mushroom, can you believe, um, that no one ever usually wants, so. Imagine. Look at that. And that is the end of day 11. Wild. These last few days are going to be kind of more of the same. Brewing a potion, going to the map, helping um, customers. So, customer, potion. We want Kabalia, Henchuk, this one, and Duranthium. Create that, and then it's kind of a race to see if I can get to ah, the location. Oh no, I didn't. Oh no, I didn't. Shoot. This is fine. So that's what I was saying. If you go too fast, you um, freeze. So we're just gonna go load back in here in a second. Uh, continue. That should put us right where we were. So we'll have to rebrew the potion, but it is all good. I put everything right next to each other because I'm a smarty pants. I'm gonna go a little bit slower. We should have already gotten. Yeah, we have those plants that we already identified, which is good. Didn't lose too much time there. Now we have a lockbox, and what do we do with locks? We throw a plant at it and open it up. Alright, open that letter. Call up the next customer, and we're going back to our map. K8, Kate. So that was Foxfield Trident. That's one of those scenarios where you would usually use that, that disc. Um, to figure out where you're supposed to go on the map. But we don't need it anymore. What I also like is that some of these things you can actually do before um, you get like a clue for it. Help, where does M go in the alphabet? There we go. If anything, this game has also helped me get better at knowing the alphabet backwards and forwards. Like, what goes before T? That one wasn't that hard, it's S and R, but um... Like K? Also not hard. You know what? Maybe it's just me. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Farmers worry Witch Fig and Solomon's Scepter. So these ones I did not move at all. We gotta go find them. That one I did. And that one. Cool. And we'll just give it a second, because I don't want to break it again. Each 25. So, still kind of speedy, but, you know, would be faster if we could do them all at once. Daisy Dock, you're important. You're going to be used somewhere else down the line. Um, you might also notice sometimes when we identify plants, we get um, little pages. Those pages are actually used to fill our plant book, which again, we don't use, but is super helpful. It gives you descriptions of all of the plants that you could potentially find. And that didn't give us anything because we were silly and didn't open up one of our letters. And because we reset, all of our letters are in a different order. 
There we go. That's the one I'm looking for. All right. Now we can go find it. So while you can go to some before you know about them, others you do have to open up a letter to actually have the knowledge to know what you're looking for. Which, you know, makes sense, but still. We're trying to skip learning about things and just finding them. Alright, day 14. Today we are making, what, another potion. This time with Sheep Snap. Um, Daisy Dock, which is this one, and Candlewood, another cool plant. All right, E11. I broke it again. You know what? We're not gonna be fast anymore. <laughs> Ooh, screw that. We're just gonna reload in. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna run, it's just a swift walk. Yeah. So we're it's again. just... We're just speed walking now. Alright, you come back. We're gonna give you the correct ones. Candlewood, Daisy Dock, and who was it? Said it backwards. Sheep Snap. You give potion. Thank you. Alright. Is everybody good now? Everybody happy? I will say, um, before the controller tech was around, we would have to kind of wait for some of the, um, like the card flipping sequences that we don't really see because I'm pressing A through them. Um, you'd have to wait for that to load and then like spam click. And it was quite a process. It added. I think originally my all discovered was closer to like 50 minutes, uh, 40 minutes maybe. Um, but after that tech was found, it cut off like at least five on that, well, every day, probably more than five. If it's between days, cause there's what, 16 days, you get 15 cards. Uh, it's about 30-ish seconds, so like seven minutes on that alone. Absolutely wild. Yeah. Not a whole lot of strange horticulture speedrunners. Um, and it's a fairly simple game to kind of pick up because it's so repetitive. Um, but at the same time, it still gets your brain going pretty much with every single playthrough. It did take me a while to actually remember which each of these plants is. Uh, you know, I once considered creating a Quizlet for it. I did not do that <laughs> because in some ways I am lazy and I just did not have time to make myself a Quizlet with all of the pictures of this uh, game. So I think a Quizlet would have been fire. That. I think that would have popped off. Yeah. I'm a sucker for a good Quizlet. I, yeah, I made a list of every plant um, in one of my uh, spreadsheets that gives a short description of each plant. Um, so I think for that one specifically, I, I did just put sussy. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the end of day 15. Oh, you and say, if you say this word again, I'm just going to transfer hosts over again. <laughs> We have George host early today. The unfortunate plant. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but yeah, so they all have like their little unique identifiers, and the book sometimes helps, but also it doesn't. Uh, we did that, we did that. On to day 16. Day 16 is the end of any percent. This is where we try to confront the monster. And while that person walks up to us, uh, we're gonna go to the map again. Collect a plant. Um, and then she's gonna give us more will to explore. So we're just capitalizing on that. Uh, this always hides it. All right. This is the end cutscene. 
where we have to give the elixir of control to our psychic friend, but we also gave Dead Man's Fingers to the woman in the Jade Mask, so the psychic friend's not gonna win, unfortunately. The art in this, super pretty. There's our monster. And that's the end of any percent. Now we get to see a cute little journal entry about what happened and how we feel about it. Uh, we feel bad because Faye died. Whoops. Had to happen. Um, and the monster lives on. So, unfortunate. Now we're entering the end portion where we have to identify the remainder of the plants. Click, click, click. Click through the credits. Um, bad Viking, pretty cool. So we have 54 out of 77. That's pretty impressive. But what we're gonna do now is um, fill up our dread meter real quick by misidentifying a couple plants here. I'm gonna get this first one though, because I need to know that I still know things. Um, and now we'll identify bad plants. So as we misidentify things, you can see our dread rising. And now we've lost our mind. And we have to do a puzzle. So it's a little shattered disc puzzle. Um, sometimes I'm good at it. Yeah, today might be one of those days, but let's not jinx it. Ah, da, 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 da. You go over here, and then you go there. Uh, you go here. That's cool. That one goes there. That goes there. Oh, you go there. You do not go there. You also don't go there. Like I said, I don't do this anymore. I try not to do this. <laughs> Although it's really cool, I try to skip this part for speed purposes. And that should be close. There's a hiding piece in here. There it is. All right, so that's puzzle one. Beautiful. I know. Halfway there. We're gonna call up Simone again and identify a few more plants. Get these out of the way. And average is this blue tulip. Not that one. Looking thing. Fool's Midnight is a black mushroom with red spores. Sir? Thank you. Alright, and we'll do Demol. Demol, I sometimes get mixed up, but not today. Alright. We'll get about... we'll get to like 69 maybe, and then do the next, uh... next dread puzzle. Nice. Umbrella. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Evulum. So during this portion, we haven't collected all 77 yet. So we are going to have to explore to find the last couple we're missing. Um, which is fine. Well, while we identify plants, that kind of makes time pass. So our will to explore is collected. Cool. We're gonna go explore, then we're going to misidentify plants. So K31... Uh, K comes before M. Did you know that? I had to like... All right, cool. I had to like say... The, I had to like... Say the alphabet in my head. <laughs> I, I know that K comes before M, but for some reason my mind was just like, does it? And I had to like does spell it? it out in my head to make sure that it did. <laughs> See, it's easy when it's like right before, but if you, um, oh, that wasn't the right one. If you are like a couple letters away, it's so confusing. And so the second puzzle is like a key to lock matching game. And so sometimes I'm good at visualizing 
Um, other times, not so much, but you get more keys as you progress. There should just be three rounds. You. Yeah! And they're really cute! They have little leaves as the head of the key, so... Very cool. All right, Simone, give us Poliscus. Uh, Poliscus looks like an upside down flower. It's yellow, it's hiding, it's right there. It's a jungle in here, but that's kind of how I like it. Why make it easier for me, oh no? Storian, right there. Sour Bandy. All right, and then Devil's Nightcap. This one, a very pretty tulip. And there's 69 plants, we've got eight more to go. Alliance. that was one of our potion plants. Swift Snare, really cool plant that um, will actually restrain people. Um, and during, if you go down like a murder plotline, like you murder a customer, with good reason, I will say, uh, you can actually use the swift snare to restrain um, a character in the game. And then the plant we're about to get, Carnivorous Torin, is actually a carnivorous plant that will, you can use to eat someone. So, it's a fun game. Those are just natural, normal play. things, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm sure whatever, oh, for sure. I'm sure whatever for reason sure. you have to murder the customer, it's justifiable. <laughs> of course, exactly. eat someone, too. You know? It's organic, too. So it is. You can't get mad at that. <laughs> It's a health no food, pesticides even. were used in this murder. <laughs> uh, we're about done. That's it. Time. Wow, that really snuck up on me. Yay. Yay. And that is strange horticulture all discovered plus dread puzzles. So, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. We've got Hellbore here. Um, that is pretty much the whole game. Uh, except for, you know, the seven other endings. Super good time. Thanks for having me. Um, there's seven other I, endings? There's seven other endings. Yeah. Wow. Um, I know. We, uh, there's a series of, like, choices that you can make throughout the game uh, that'll determine which endings you get. And we went down the, one of the two psychic endings. Um, but yeah, there's good and bad endings. There's one ending where nobody dies, and then there's one ending where everybody dies. So, you know. That sounds like a grand old time, I will say. <laughs> yeah. Um, if y'all aren't donating, please consider donating. That would be really cool of you. Uh, thank you, Completathon, for having me. My name's OKNE underscore um, on Twitch. I'm a variety streamer, speedrun, you know, mostly cozy games like Strange Horticulture and Stardew Valley, which you just saw before this. Um, but yeah, catch me later. All right. Thank you so much, Nia, for that amazing run of Strange Horticulture All Discovered. We were so happy to have you. Uh, if you want to check me out again, check out her Twitch, check out her Twitter. She's an amazing speedrunner, and I'm so excited to see what she does next to other events as well. Um, with that being said, we're going to be right back after a small break with Mrs. Cat Between Worlds by Steve TV Online. Stay tuned for that and make sure that you donate the Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus incentive for Blindfolded Ruby as we're very close to that and that is the last incentive that we have of the night. So I highly recommend donating to that and hit exclamation point donate in chat uh, to help to see the donation page.
Hey folks, I hope you guys are doing well on this night. We only have two more runs left of the day. And we've already gone through $300 chase for Somos Familia Diet. That's an amazing first day of the event, I will say. Um, however, I want to say some more information about Somos Familia Diet. Uh, more specifically, they actually have specific support groups for people, um, for specific marginalized communities. Uh, specifically, another reminder that we are raising money for Somos Familia Diet, and their website has a variety of programs for you to partake in. This includes monthly meetings held both in person and virtually uh, for multiple support groups, including women of color over the age of 18, uh, LGBTQ plus youth and their allies between the ages of 12 and 17, and queer and trans men of color over the ages of 18, uh, all of which are free services that you can uh, be involved in if you just go to their website, somosfamiliavalle.org slash calendar to see all of the calendar and all and when each of these support groups meet. Uh, so if you're interested in participating and stuff like that, especially if you're in the San Fernando Valley uh, area, I highly recommend uh, checking those out. Uh, make sure you hit XH point donate and chat and hit some uh, and see some so that some of those incentives that we have open for today. And I'm really, really want to make sure that we see uh, the blindfolded Ruby incentive met by the end of today. I highly recommend donating to that. Please do that. We would love to see it. Oh, 